Hi guys, it's me Jace, <laughs> and I'm back with another tutorial, and I am super excited, okay? I'm excited because this bracelet is the very first hook-only design of one of our most favorite designers, super elegant and amazing, Lumi Mama, okay? She created this bracelet called Kumihimo, okay? Kumihimo is a Japanese braiding pattern, okay? That looks very complicated but actually very easy um, when being made. And I am very happy that I was able to name this bracelet. Whee! So this is Kumihimo by Lumi Mama, okay? She is, of course, famous for a lot of her designs. I personally have um, done a lot of um, tutorials for her as well. And so did other tutors, tutors okay? So... I'm sure that you guys have seen me, um, seen my post rather, on this, on my Instagram, and it uh, probably got the most number of likes. <laughs> and so many were saying, oh, I really want to make that, you know. So, yes, it is. And it's actually quite thick if you look at it. See, you would mistake it for something that's made on the bar, you know, on the bar pin. But it is actually a hook-only design. And this is the hook-only design debut of Lumi Mama. Yay! Okay, so let's get started. But before we start, I just want to tell everybody that you will have to be very, very patient in the beginning of this bracelet because you have to have very gentle hands because there is a tendency for the bands to fall off or be out of place if you're not careful. Okay, so let's start so that you can already start making it. Okay, so what we will do is we will start with the cap band and then the color in the middle and then the outside bands so we will be using three colors as well for today i will be using one second something fell and i can't find it anyway <laughs> so today we will be using the white limited edition bands and from the enchanted glitter we will be using the blue and the pink okay so my borders will be white and the middle colors will be pink and blue okay so to start with like here I what I did was I triple cap this instead I made it triple cap because it's really thin and then this one I double banded this one because if you notice when you're wearing it it looks thin and the bracelet is so thick so I double banded this and I triple cap that only for the beginning so that we have something that is strong. Can you see clearly? Okay, all right. So let's start. So we get the, to the triple cap. We do a triple cap. One, two, and three. Okay, we triple cap that beginning, and then you will get two of your beginning bands. It's just really to make it stronger. But you can use one if you are more comfortable with one. And then you put the cap band on those two. There. Okay. There. It's supposed to be like that. Okay. And then now you get one each of your border band again. Okay. So you put the first one on your hook. And then you loop the first set on it there then you close it and then you get the next white you put it against the two to remove remove and then you hook this and then you loop the two and then you put them all back <coughs> there that's how it's supposed to look okay and then in your next step, you get the next color, which is for me pink. Okay. And we will remove the first one together with the pink. You put it against the white. Remove it. Hook the pink. And then unloop the two middle bands. One. And two. Just those two. And then you put everything back there it's supposed to look like that see 
Okay. Now, here's a little bit of a complicated part. You have to pay attention. Okay. You remove the two bands. Hold it. Remove it like that. Okay. Let's untwist this. Okay. And then, you will go and get the first white back on the hook. So you go back, go backwards, and then you get this first white on the hook there. Okay? Remember when you do this, be careful with your bands because you don't want any of your bands to switch places. You have to keep the order. Remember that. Next is you put the pink back. There. Okay? Keep the order. And don't pull too hard because it will already it will really fall out of place. So just keep it very light. Okay? Be gentle. And then you put the blue back on the hook as well. All the blue. There. Don't be confused with the two blues, okay? I just doubled that for the beginning. That's just one blue supposedly. Okay. And then you put the white back on. There. So, I placed all four bands on. Just like that. Okay. And then now you will get one band. One white border band. And loop all of those on the white. All these. But remember, like I said, keep the order. So it's going to be one, two, three, and four. That order should stay. Remember, that should stay that way. And this band, that's this new white, this white one, it's really loose. So don't worry about that. Just lock it. Okay. Now be make, make sure. You don't pull the pink too much because it will fall off. So make sure you keep it relaxed. Do not pull it tight. Then you go to the other side. Okay. This is really best when you have double tip hook. So please try to get a barbecue stick or something. Okay. Now you will remove these two also. Remove them and then hold this because the pink might fall off. Hold a little, okay, and then you will loop the white as well. You will loop this white one, put it back on there together with the pink. There, so see the pink is sliding off, keep it tight push it back and then just hold on to that to that and then the blue you put back on okay and the last white there okay it's just the beginning don't worry that's the only time we will be challenged with this and then you will loop all four so one okay one Two, three, and four, and then you close. Close it quickly so it doesn't slide off. <laughs> so there. So the order should be inside the the loop. You should have a border band. You should have the very first color, the second color, and then a border band again. Okay. <coughs> and then now you will go to the blue now single already you remove the first one with the blue you're not pull too tight and then loop these two middle one and two and then you put it back there okay now here is the real sequence, okay? 
pay attention, this might confuse you. Okay? You will remove these two, similar to what we did earlier. You will get the first white on your hook. That first white there, that very first one. Get it on your hook. And the blue. And then now here, you will get the first and the third band. So for me, it's the white and the pink. Sorry, not the first, the second, and the third. Okay? One, two, and three. Three is the pink. So here, you will get pink. And then this white. And the last white. Okay? So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay? And then you will get one white. And then you loop all five in the same order. <laughs> Do not change the order. So it's one, two, three, four, and five. Keep that order. Okay? Keep that order. Make sure that order stays. And then you close it. And then you go to the other side. You do the same thing. We remove these two. Okay? And then get that white. Get that white. And then this blue. Notice I'm letting go of the blue because it will get pulled here. So you don't want this to be pulled. You don't want that to be pulled out of place. So do not pull this too much. Okay? So you get the white and then the blue. And then you get... Um, the pink. This pink. There. And then you get the last two whites the last two whites border okay so one two three four five then we get another white and then loop all five one two three four and five then you close see so now, you're, you're securing the loose bands. You're beginning to see the shape of the pattern. There. Okay? The last two bands are really switched, so don't unswitch them. They really are supposed to go in between each other every time. Okay? There, see? It really is supposed to be like that. So, it keeps going under each other okay so let's continue the next color so you don't get confused again here is your pattern you get your next color which is pink you remove the first band this is the beginning of the pattern already step one and then you loop the middle two bands middle two bands and then you close it okay oops there supposed to be like that and then you will remove these two okay and then you will get the first white the pink and then the blue what happens is that you loop the white and then the last color you added and then the last color under it so it's the blue that's the secret and then the last two bands these two the remember do not switch the quarter the two whites just keep it that way then it's there so you have five okay then you get your white and then you loop all five one two three four and five then you close 
Okay? In the beginning, it's really loose. And then it will tighten later on as you make it. Once again, we remove the two. And then you get the white, the first white. Well, the only white left. This one. One. And then the pink, two. And then the blue, three. And then the last two. These last two. Okay. And then you get another white. And then loop the five bands. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you close. See? It's starting to form. It's starting to form. Yay! Okay? If you find yourself very confused, I suggest you use exactly the same colors just to get used to the pattern because it does get quite some time to get used to it. But I suggest you try it with my pattern because believe me, when you do this, you will fall in love with the bracelet because I did. In the beginning, seriously, I almost pulled all my hair out before I got it right. So do not feel bad if you do not get it at first because I tried it like 20 times. <laughs> Okay, but believe me, it's beautiful, super beautiful bracelet. I wear this now every single day. Okay, so again, step one is you remove the first band with your second, with your next color. Remove the one first band. Okay, and then hook the next color, and then loop the two middle bands right there, and then put them all back to there. Okay. So once again, when you loop, when you remove these two, I will show you. Um, <coughs> when you remove these two, what you will be hooking will be this band, the one in the middle, those, that one, one, two, and then the pink, three, which is the next one, the last one that's there. And then these last two, four and five. So five bands, one, two, three four and five okay so we will remove the two and then hook the white one and then the blue two and then the first color pink and then these last two four and five see very easy. Actually, when you get used to it, you might be like, Oh my God, it's so easy. Dalay naman pala Okay, so one and two, three, four, and five. Claro? Claro. Okay. And then you go to the other side. You can pinch this, no problem. You can pinch and then just, just turn it around. No problem. I just like using my double end the hook. So you do the same thing. You remove the two. Okay. Notice I don't hold the blue. I don't pull on it because if I pull on it, it might get um it might get it might be switched with the white, which you don't want to happen. It has to stay as the second band. So you loop the white. One and then the blue. Two. And then the pink, three, and then the last two whites, four, and five. See? Okay. Don't worry about how loose that is. That's just the beginning. It will fix itself later. I think the band is just really big. <laughs> there are big bands sometimes. Okay. So, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There we go. Okay. And then you go to the other side. Ah, uh, yes. 
so dead. Oh, sorry guys, it's my mistake. I missed the loop one of the whites. See what happens when it switches? See? That's why you should never let the pink slide off the white. That's what happened to me. So just remember that. Follow what I am doing now here. That's the correct one. This one, see, I missed. I missed. It did switch. What happened here is what I was telling you about. The blue was inside and then the white is here. It got switched like that. So the white got loose. See? And then now the pink is... Uh, I have to repeat this later. Just so you can see it. Sorry, I'm not perfect. <laughs> okay. Just remember. That's how it is. Okay? So... I will do it one more time so that you can see. Okay, so you get your next color which is pink for me. You remove the first band and then you loop these two. Yeah. And then you close it. After this, I will repeat the beginning so that you can see it again. I might have made a mistake, but I'll show it to you again. So once more, you do that, you, get, you remove these two, and then you hook the first white, this one, and then the pink, and then the blue, and then the last two whites. Okay, so that's five bands. Then you get your white and loop the five bands on it. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you close it. And then you go to the other side. And you do the same thing. Remove the two. And then you loop the white. One, two, and then the blue. Three, and then the last two, four and five. Okay? And then you get your white again and then you loop the first two one two and that let me switch see what happened if it switched you have to put it back the last one should be inside then this one should be outside see and then three four and five and then that's it see there and you will continue that until you reach the end of your bracelet. Okay? When you reach the end of your bracelet and you already have your desired length, all you have to do is to just get that pink band, that last colored band, put it back on the hook. So you remove the last one and then just get this pink band right there so that it's locked. And then you lock, close it like that. Then you go to the other side. Open it, close, open it, remove the first band, and then get the pink, the other side of the pink. There, and then you close it. Okay? Then, you will get a single band and put everything on it. Like that. And that's how you end. See? Okay? That's how you end the bracelet. Ta-da! It's beautiful, isn't it? I love it. Love it a lot. Okay? So, when you put your ciglip, you just attach it to the other side okay so now let me just go back to the beginning just so we can clarify it okay i just have a feeling if i miss something here you may have all made a mistake already so sorry about that let me just go back so again the beginning is a triple cap two three okay and then you get your double band beginning to make it strong and then you loop the triple cap on it okay and then you put this back 
and then you get two whites for the border or two border colors you put the first one you loop the first band on it and then you remove the first two together with this and then you loop the first one there it's supposed to look like that and then you get the pink second color remove the first band with the paint and then loop these two middle and then close it okay and then now you go and remove the first two bands similar to the beginning of the step okay you loop that first white band and then the pink and then the blue okay and then the white keeping the order the same do not switch the order okay and then you get another white and loop all of them on the white white the blue the pink and the last white and then you close it okay keep the order and you go to the other side okay and then you remove these two and then you loop the white okay oops keep the pink under there stay there Sorry, I'm just trying to fix it because the pink got out of place. See, that's what I mean. When you pull in the pink, I pulled in the pink by accident. The pink has to be the second band. There you go. Okay. Okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> and then you loop the blue as well. Okay, and the pink. Pink gets old. I hate this. Sorry. <laughs> so like I said, that's the problem here. The order has to be kept. Anyway, I'll fix that later. I just know that the pink should fudge. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. This can't be happening. Okay. So that's the order. So you get the white. And then the blue. And then the pink again. And then the white. Okay. So there. That's the order. It should stay. Okay. And then you get a blue again and put it in the middle. Blue, then put it in the middle. Yeah, loop those two middle bands and then close it. Okay. And before I got cut, <laughs> so now comes the looping of the, or the, the real looping. So you remove these two, you loop the first white and then the blue and then the pink and then the last two whites you loop it on a white band one two three four and five and then you close okay same on the other side you remove the first two then you loop the white, the blue, and then the pink, and then the last two whites, last two whites. Then you get the white, and loop the first two, the pink, 
the blue and another white five bands so there you go so that's I guess where I was I messed up earlier is because this one slid off the white so you should not allow that you should carefully watch it so here see now I properly fixed it see this one it's fixed there now because if it switches then it's not looped pointless okay so be careful okay so that's just how you do it follow the steps I did earlier to continue just keep looping all those five bands on and on till you reach the end okay so that is the Kumihimo bracelet by the beautiful and very talented, very talented Lumi Mama. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that, and please don't forget to hashtag James Alvarez, Kumihimo bracelet, and Lumi Mama, because we'd love to see your renditions. I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye.